Hello, this is Captain Steve Tarrant from Maine Maritime Academy, here with another training video using Lapwing. So uh, let's say you are working on uh, some kind of problem that has uh, a calculation involved in it. For instance, this, uh, this celestial navigation question, azimuth. And uh, you're having difficulty solving it. Well, I'm going to show you how you can use Lapware to find the solution. So this is uh, a question here on 5 February. Okay, it's uh, azimuth. So I'm going to take a few words out of here. I'm going to take 5 February. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, use those words to search for this question in Lapware. So let's go ahead and go to Lapware. When you come to Lapware, you are usually going to... You, you, when you first log in, you're going to be brought to your My Tests screen. What we want to do is we want to go to search questions. Okay, so this is the search question screen, and you have options. You can go keyword, exact match, Coast Guard number. Well, if you knew the Coast Guard number, we already know which question it was. Reference category. Let's go with exact match. I'm going to type in now a few keywords. And I'm going to search. Essentially, what is going to happen now is it's going to search through every question in the question bank and uh, everyone that has five February. And look, there's two questions that have five February. One is a tide and current problem, and here is this one. Okay, this looks oh, it's Polaris. That looks like it. Let's click on it just to be sure. Uh, here's the question five February. Blah, 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 blah. That looks good. I'm just going to check the answers. Okay, just to make sure the answers are the same with my worksheet. So zero, one point five, three, four point five. Yep, that's it. Okay, great. So what we need to do now is we need to get this question number. This is question 1491. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy it. Okay. Excellent. Now that I know the question number, now I'm going to go find the solution. So to do that, I'm going to now go to the view question. Uh, now, I have to find the appropriate book. The Coast Guard organizes all of their questions into five books. Rules of the Road, Deck General, Nav General Safety. That's all self-explanatory. This is Deck Safety, by the way. Uh, and Navigation Problems. Navigation Problems are all the problems for the near coastal, the oceans, and the chart plot modules. Another way of saying that is the TNAV, CNAV, and chart plot. Okay? So I'm going to click that. Now, I know the question number that I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as all questions. Okay, I'm not going to specify by license. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see what I'm talking about in another video. Let's just go. All right, now we are in navigation problems. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on question filters. Click on question filters. Go to Coast Guard question number. Well, we know what the question number is because we copied it. Now I'm going to hit go to. Ah, here's the question, okay? Now, what I'll do now is I click solution, okay? And here is the solution to that problem, conveniently worked out with notes, okay? Little reminders, the uh, all the steps involved. There's a color code to this, okay? You can see up here, blue is information provided in the question. Red are tabular values looked up in like 229 or the Nautical Almanac. Black are are values that have been calculated. So these are the things that you'll be coming up with by the various steps and the answer at the end you do. Okay, so there's little notes along the way that are provided for you. And then down here, okay, you can see some of the, uh, where the information was extracted. So this looks like it was from the Polaris table on the back of the Nautical Almanac, page 275. Okay, a couple of little notes here on TVMDC. And there's the answer. And in case you wanted, there's additional tabular uh, information as well, okay, and you're all set. If when you went to solution, you clicked on solution, uh, you were instructed to download a plugin, well, you'll need to do that. If you're using a, a, a PC, you're going to need to download a plugin either for the, like the Mozilla or the uh, Chrome uh, browsers. There's different ones for different browsers. If you're using a Mac, I do believe that you already have the plugin installed. Okay, that's it for this video. Good luck.